Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a follow-up review of this Omron fat loss monitor. I've used it for quite a while now, and of course the question is, how accurate is it? How precise is it? Is it actually useful for tracking your body fat and such? The answer I consider is yes, it's useful for tracking your body fat. It's a very affordable consumer device. Pretty much if you type in Omron and Google, this thing is gonna pop up. It just seems to be the standard device that, that normal people can get, and it's obviously a cheap alternative to going and doing a DEXA scan or a bod pod, something like that, where you actually have to go and pay a lot of money to do, so this can track your stuff. That being said, if you've poked around, you find that uh, body induction analysis, which is what this is, this type of measurement is called, tends to be not very accurate. From my experience in that, Yes, that's true, but it's better for tracking your body fat loss than, say, the scale in your bathroom is. Let's see, let's pop this on, and let's, we'll do a quick scan for me. And I'm just showing you, you know, how it's scanning here. And it, it just sits there, ticks, ticks, and then finally, boom. Okay, so it's saying that I'm at 16.3%. I think when I reviewed this originally, I was like around 24%. So I've lost quite a bit of body fat. That number there, what you see is obviously an estimate. Now, if I were to hit the button again and scan again, it'll give me something like 16.2 or 16.4. It's generally within 0.1. So that's how precise it is, how, how repeatable the measurement is. It, it's, it's very repeatable. Now, that being said, different days, depending on time of day when you scan. I've tried that and that can vary by up to a 1%. So this would read up to 17.3 or maybe 15.3. So way different. It's very, very important that you be consistent. I even have my ring off. I make sure that I have a specific day that I weigh in, set my weight, because I didn't actually set my weight on this one. So I wouldn't consider this a legitimate scan for recording purposes. What I find is that I have fairly consistent numbers. Now, there are points, like when I was about, got to about 21% body fat, I seemed to stick there for a while. And I would keep losing weight on the scale, but it wouldn't tick down here for whatever reason. But the thing is, is that eventually, as long as I, I kept doing the right things, kept eating enough protein, kept exercising, and kept seeing that I was getting the, uh, the weight loss on the scale, then suddenly, once it, it dropped below 20, it, it fell quick and then it started moving again. Now what's interesting is I started, you know, I got a new phone finally. I got, instead of a flip phone, I finally got a smartphone. And the Apple phones have a health app where you can actually log your body fat percentage and you can see the trend over time, which is really cool. And if you scale out to larger time periods, it starts averaging those together. So what you see on the short time periods is that it looks like my body fat percentage is kind of basically stuck. And that was, the most recent one was about 17% when I was getting about 17% on this thing. Then once I broke through that, boom, it, it started moving again. And that was fairly recently. But if you zoom out to like year view on there, it starts averaging my measurements together and you start, and you see that I've got a steady loss going. You kind of have to treat it like the scale where you have to have multiple measurements and have a moving average so you can see your movement because your numbers are going to move up and down and because this is a handheld it's going to only scan your upper body. It can be questionable depending on how different your body type is from the test body type that they use to calibrate this. But as long as you are being consistent with your measurements and you are averaging them together, if you're doing the right things, you should see your numbers give you a consistent loss and show you that you're going in the right direction. But for a single measurement, it can be quite a bit of variance. But overall, this thing is a very useful tool as long as you understand how to use it and how to use it properly.